Corey and I actually went to high school together. He was a year older than I and mutual friends. He came over, he started going to school his senior year where I went to high school. Katie, Allison's maid of honor, was good friends with one of the first friends I made at Carl Albert. And uh, so I knew her through that, but we actually never dated in high school. We were just friends. I'd been even over to her house a few times. And we always have swim parties and just hung out. Went to, he played baseball, and my best friend, her boyfriend, played baseball, so I was at the baseball games. You know, I always saw him. Then we, you know, both went off to college, and we didn't run into each other again until uh, I was two years removed from college, and it was her first year out of college. Again, it was like seven years later. We ran into each other. We were out celebrating my parents' uh, wedding anniversary. And uh, I ran into her there. And he was there with some friends from work, and I was there with friends and family, and. I was pretty, uh, I was pretty awestruck. I tried to play it real cool. I first went, uh, I waited a few days, because I didn't want to make it look like I was like super pumped, you know? And she might have even been with another guy there. So I didn't want to, you know, I didn't play it off there. I get on Facebook and I send her a message. I was like, hey, it was really good to see you again, da da da. And then I would check it every day. And she didn't actually write me back for like three or four days. So uh, I was a little nervous, but I started talking to Billy, Katie's husband now. And I'm like, hey man, you need to kind of work that deal. You need to kind of see where that's going. And so next thing you know, he invites me to go watch his old school play football. And Katie and Allison were both there. And um, he was there and I kind of thought it was weird. I was like, you know, what's he doing here? You know, and I didn't know. They had kind of told him what they were doing and just invited him along. I never saw the game. We just talked the whole time. We were like, oh yeah, we should hang out. Let's do something next weekend. And then we went to Oktoberfest out in Choctaw. We were both going to the OU game the next day. And I was like, well, let me get your number. They, everybody gives me a hard time about it now because I was the one who asked for his number. So they're never going to let me live that down. And the rest is history. She asked for my number that night and it was game over. I gave her the number and we talked every day since then. I would say that the way she cares for others, she always puts other people in front of herself, me included, but it doesn't stop with me. Her kids, her own family, she's one of the most selfless people I know and she has a huge heart. I think when I really looked forward to waking up and talking to him every day and I just wanted to talk to him after work. I was ready to hang out with him. I just, it was hard for me to leave, you know? And so I just, just knew. Yeah. It took her a long time to be able to, to do everything I could, that I did, you know? Like, I want you to be my girlfriend. I don't know if I'm ready. I love you, thanks. You know, it took a while before I got everything back. And I think it meant more because when she finally was ready to say it, it was like, man, that's it. She's, she's in, I'm in. And then uh, I had never really gone to my mom about a girl before. I never said, you know, like, what do you think? She never said yay or nay about anyone in, you know, my life. And I told her, I'm like, you know, I, I think this is it. And that day, my mom was like, you know, I've never said anything about any other girls. But I'll say now, I don't think you could pick a better one. And so that was all I needed. That was a wrap. I'm not going to lie to you, it is a work of art. It took a lot of coordination and it was epic. Their proposal, um, it was a sur surprise. What happened was, uh, I knew I was gonna ask her probably sometime in like December. I actually had already ordered the ring, just waited for it to come in. And originally I'm thinking, you know, it sounds cheesy, but I'm like, Valentine's Day, it's middle of February, I could probably wait till then. I get the ring in on uh, like January 23rd. I get it in my hand. It's, I see it, I feel it, I touch it, I get it insured, I, I have it, right? And I don't know if anyone else has ever been in that situation, but at that point, it's really hard to hang on to. You're ready to just like, I'm not, I'm a terrible secret keeper. So I was like, man, I'm gonna give it to her, give it to her. So I waited two days and uh, it was my birthday. It was my 26th birthday, January 26th. So I've had a total of three days. We had plans to go to dinner with um, our parents. And I call my cousin, I get to work and I call my cousin, I'm like, hey, ask her on my birthday. She thinks she's taking me out to some type of like surprise dinner with you know, some of her family and some of my family. I was like, I'm gonna put a 180 on her. I'm gonna put the surprise on her. And um, they kept calling me like, where are you, where are you? And I was like, well, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So I told her parents, you know, and everything. I already had the flowers ordered. Got to his house and he was like, hey, come here, I need you to watch something. And I was like, 
watch something, and so I went in the bedroom and I sat on the bed. I had David film me, and I talked for like, felt like an hour, it might have been 10 minutes. It was so sweet. It was so sweet, and um, it was of him like in the kitchen. There was this big flower arrangement, and he just you know told me how he felt and things about us. And, um, and I videoed her while she was watching it. She didn't know. And then I also tried to video us as I actually told her at the end of it. I said, well, come back in here and see me. So when it shut off, I was like, Corey, Corey, because I just, I didn't, I was not expecting it. And I walked into the kitchen. He was wearing the same thing. The flowers were there, and I was just like, I still, when I was watching it, just really wasn't sure, you know? And then um, he was like, do you like your flowers? And I said, yeah, they're beautiful, big arrangement. And he's like, what about this one? And he pulled this rose out, and then the rose was my ring. Beautiful, beautiful. So she came back in there, and then I asked her, and uh, I don't know, she cried, I cried, we both cried. I still don't even know if she said yes, but she's here. So I assume that we're gonna go through this thing. And he got down on one knee, and bless his heart, he set up the tripod to get that moment. But when he got down, it only it gets us from here up. But it's okay, because he was like, it's fine, and I said, it's fine. So, but it was sweet, very, very thoughtful. So uh, someday, hopefully our kids watch it, and they can see like, man, dad was cheesy. Allison and I met in um, seventh grade in choir. We had a lot of mutual activities. We were spirit club officers together. We were in choir, and so we just did a lot of things together and became best friends in junior high. And then through high school and college, we kept up our friendship, and we've just been best friends ever since. Uh, of course, uh, you know, me and him, we talk all the time, hang out, play golf, do stuff like that. Oh, he, he was, I want to say, head over heels. Corey went to high school with us for his senior year, so that's when we initially met Corey, and um, he and my husband played baseball together, um, so that's how I know Corey. Um, and then the two of them together, we kind of randomly met uh, two years ago, and um, Allison and Corey started talking, and they've been together ever since. I think it's great. I think it's great. He's finally, finally settling down. He needs to. It's good for him. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, they're, they're a great couple. She's awesome. Um, she's great for him. He's great for her. So. Oh, I'm looking forward to the day of us getting ready and getting to spend the whole day here and hang out. And then I'm excited for the ceremony to see them um, see each other for the first time and exchange vows and then dance the night away. Uh, Allison, Corey, love both of you. Y'all are great. Y'all are great together. Uh, this venue here is beautiful. Um, it's going to be a beautiful wedding. Allison, you look beautiful tonight. I know you'll look even more stunning tomorrow in your dress. Corey looks studly, as always, because that's what Milfords do. Um, but I know you'll look even better tomorrow. So I'm excited, happy for both of you. Um, wish the best of luck and uh, always love you. Probably uh, everything that comes along with it. I'm ready to, like, you know, come home, cook dinner together, watch TV together. I'm ready to not have to tell her bye at the end of the night for her to go back home. You know, when she falls on the sleep on the couch, I don't want to have to wake her up. I'm, I'm looking forward to just being in each other's presence and never having to leave. Um, living together, starting a family, just having someone to hang out with all the time. He's my best friend and I enjoy spending my time with him. So I'm just looking forward to many more years to come.